Right you guys, today we're going to take a look at how to clean inside your computer. I see a lot of people doing a lot of conflicting information on the internet and also I get asked this question a lot. So I'm going to go through and show you some of the stuff you can use to clean inside your computer. Now this is Katsu 101772. Now this is a blower and a sucker device so it will hoover as well as blow uh, cold air. And you can see here we've got a couple of elements inside here for replacement and you've got your user manual. Now these are pretty affordable on the internet. Be careful, there's a load of duds out there. This one is a very well built one and it's very good. It's 800 watts. Now this is the actual funnel here that will go on the front and also it goes on the side as well if you want to make it as a hoover. So on the front here, this is where we're going to put it because it's going to be used for blowing. Now this bag here is used for the hoover. If you want to make it an, an hoover, you can actually put this on the front and then put the sucker on the uh, side there where that little mesh is and it will then become an hoover. But we're not talking about that in this video. We're talking about using it as a blower to blow the dust out of a computer. Now you must keep this free when you're using it as a blower because this is where it's going to suck the air in from the outside world into the device and then blow it out of this area here. This will of course have our little black uh, funnel on there to blow the cold air out of to actually uh, clean out all the dust or blow away any debris from inside the unit here. So you can see it's got a good motor, it's very well built and it's not that expensive. You've got a little dial on the latch here and you've also got the trigger to make it work. Just make sure you keep the side area clear so it uh, can have area to pull in the cool air. Now this is just a simple uh, little mechanism just to put into the little slots here and then turn it to lock it into position and this stops the nozzle from coming off. Now I've used bunches of these over the years and this one is probably one of the best ones that I've used. It's got really good power, 800 watts is plenty, you don't need much more than that really and uh, it will save you using compressed air and also compressors and stuff like that, big and bulky. This is very small and you can store it away when you're not using it, it's that good for um, sort of space saving really. Now you can see build up of dust on this case here and I want to just show you how uh, bad this is for a PC. It's going to cause temperature issues, it's going to cause overheating and also hardware failure eventually. So it's important that you keep your computer clean and especially these filters. Now sometimes these can actually be a hindrance as you can see here. The dust absolutely blankets the front of these filters and of course that stops airflow from going into the case. So some people don't even use these filters. Now over the years I've tried a few different methods for cleaning inside PCs, compressors, and they can create moisture and blow liquid into the case. You've also got compressed air canisters which also can do the same thing. These are just blowing air into the case and blowing out the dust. As you can see it's very effective. And it's also very cost effective because you're not spending vast amounts of money on those compressed air cans which I still see people using today. So what you can do here is take it outside, give it a good blowout with one of these devices here. 800 watts is plenty. You don't need massive leaf blowers to blow out the dust. Um, you know, there's no need for any of that sort of stuff. You can use something as small as this that will clean out all the dust. You can hold the fans if you're worried about electrical current being built up and going into the ball and you can also take them off if you want. There's all sorts of myths and theories on the internet that actually confuse people but this is a tried and trusted way of doing it and I've had no issues whatsoever. So you can just blow these out like that and you can see the dust being removed. There's a ton of dust in here and it's not good for computer components to do that. Now once you've completed this task you're also going to need to clean off any sort of fans and you can use isopropanol uh, alcohol wipes and these are 99.9% .9 and these are disposable so you can either use the liquid or you can use these disposable uh, wipes which are pretty handy because you can clean inside the fan area. Now if you want something a bit more cost effective you can use these alcohol wipes which have got 70% alcohol on them and you can also use these. These are also disposable and uh, they're a little bit bigger and they're great for cleaning large surfaces inside the case. Now that will dry instantly as soon as it hits the 
the air it will dry it instantly now also cotton buds or q-tips as you might say in america you can use these these are already pre-pregnated with alcohol so you can use these or you can just use the standard ones now also the contact cleaner is essential wd-40 this gets right into the grooves and this is the one that you want to use not the standard wd-40 i see so many people using that in their videos and brake cleaner and stuff like that and it's not good for the computer this is the stuff that is non-conductive and it dries instantly and it will clean inside those electrical components which is like your ram slots and all the hard to reach areas which the blower might miss so you can use something like this to get all the dust out of there do not use anything like this because this is dangerous inside electrical components because it will be flammable and it can ignite and cause fire and I've seen a lot of youtubers saying that you can use this on electrical components it's safe it lubricates the um, the electrical components and it also keeps it nice and shiny now you don't want to be putting that onto electrical components it's not designed for that it's a lubricant and it also doesn't dry it and it leaves a sticky residue on there so you definitely don't want to use that and it will attract dust and it will stick to it uh, and that's going to be a really big issue for you later on down the line now you also might need some anti-static uh, brushes just to get into those little hard to reach areas just to clean out that hard debris and uh, it's very good and it makes the system look sparkling clean once you're finished and it's the safest way that you can do it okay i've been doing this for many years and this is a tried and trusted way trust me there's not many different ways you can do it and this is probably your best uh, possible way of getting your system nice and clean and dust free Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. Hope this one's been helpful to you. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I'll leave all the links in the video description for you, just in case uh, you want to uh, buy these yourself. Anyway, thanks again. See you again for the next video. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.